Yes, Ivana, there is more. Unfortunately, there is always more. So, um, isn't it great when really, really old people get elected to school boards and then have really, really, like, incredibly outdated views on education? And as a result, we end up just accidentally hiring bigots? You know, for the lulls. I guess we'll have to talk about that today, huh? But first, let's go ahead and get into the fan art section, and then we can talk about more. This one is from Goat Herd, Ar uh, Goat Herd, Arctic Smoke. I finished Homestuck Cirrus faster than I thought I would. The intent was Bronze Blood, and I realized I forgore the Hammer Gem. No. We have so many Homestuck versions of my character. I wonder if that's indicative of anything. <laughs> the next one we have is from Candlex. I got new markers, so take it. I've seen things. It's a it, it's a slime service on a coin because, of course, it's on a coin. Or it's an amiibo. One, the other, or both. The last one we have here is from Axo that has cream. Old drawing. I don't know why I made this, but I went back and finished it. Well, you know, Axo, I'm glad you finished it. As always, everybody, thank you all for your fan art submissions. If you want your fan art to be shown in a future video, the best way to do so is to drop it to the fan art section of the Discord. With that all said, let's go ahead and get ready to uh, take a read in this article here. There's a new school board member in town, and he's taking names. 80-year-old Chuck Hakama elected Tuesday to the Lafayette Community School Board in Lafayette, Indiana, won't Brooke, uh, openly gay teachers, critical race theory for kids, or a woke agenda. Said my reason for running uh, for school board is because when I talked to the school board members, they would not give me an answer to the questions, Hakama told the Lafayette Journal and Inquirer, or, and Courier. And I thought, now this is some crap. If you can't tell me whether you're going to vote for CRT or you're not, you're on my list and I'm going to find out why. Oh my god. This is somebody who took the Rufo pill. This is somebody who just fell down that, that frickin' right-wing propaganda rabbit hole hard. Hakama is also coming for anyone advocating a gay ideology, whatever that means. He said, if there's a teacher that wants to be gay, that's okay. That's their prerogative. I've hired gay people. I've had them work for me, but I would not allow a gay person to push his feelings and his ideology off on other employees. Um, what does that mean? What, do, what is a gay ideology? What is that? Agent Zapdos, thank you for redeeming your points for an owl. Oh, Splinter Kid, thank you for redeeming your points for an... But yeah, what is, what, is it, what is a gay ideology? What does that mean? Are you going to come design my drapes or some other offensive stereotype we can talk about gay people before? Is that is that a thing you do? Like, what what does a gay ideology mean? The, the, the ideology of it being okay to be gay? Why, why can't we push that on people? I'm perfectly fine pushing that on people. Hey, person who doesn't think it's okay to be gay. Fuck you, you're wrong. There, see, I did it. I did it instantly. Yeah, gay people exist is just a, a factual statement. And then Hakama said, I'm totally against that as a way of life. Oh, so... So you're okay with people being gay, but you're against it. That's not... Those are not congruent statements. He then says, I don't want to see any banners. I don't want to see any posters. The teachers are there to educate, not to try to form a people's opinions about anything other than reading, writing, arithmetic, civics, and science. Ah, okay, cool. So... <laughs> <laughs> you fool! You've given them all they need! Let's talk about each one of those subjects and how you can gay them the fuck up. Let's talk about reading. How many gay authors can we have children read about? How many gay things can we have them read in books? That's a pretty easy one. <laughs> writing, same thing. It is so easy to just insert all the gay into that. Arithmetic? Well, you know, one plus one equals two. And it can't equal three unless, you know, they're straight or in vitro is involved. There, we've gayed up arithmetic. And also made it slightly more bigoted. Sorry about that. Civics. C c you want them to talk about civics, but not talk about gay. Not talk about gay people. 
What? What? How's that gonna work? How's that gonna work? So if if, if civics, right, is is the study of, of, of rights and, and duties people have as citizens, the study of, of civil rights, civics, we will naturally be talking about gay people. You don't want to see any of the posters, but you want them to teach civics. A field of education that will naturally talk about protesters and banners and posters and all the gay stuff. Ah, yes. Let's just do that. Hey. We're not here. We're not here to talk about gay people. We're not here to talk about the gay. Okay, cool. I'm perfectly fine with that. But you want to us to talk about civics? All right, guys. Today, we are going to talk about a particular riot that happened several years ago. This riot happened at a bar. Does anybody know the bar I'm talking about? It was a very influential time uh, for a particular minority group. Uh, a couple of particular minority groups. I guess we're going to talk about a place. It, 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 it sounds like a wall. Perhaps a wall made of stone. Yup. <laughs> we're don't worry. We won't talk about gay people, my guy. We won't gayify the stuff, but man, the civics class today, we just have to talk about Stonewall riots. Just letting you know. <laughs> my god. I know you're 80, but please don't prove you're senile. This is this is the stupidity bigotry gets you into. You find yourself in self-defeating crossroads like this. And then science. You want us to talk about science. All right, cool. Let's talk about the proclivity of nature in overpopulated areas uh, to have the sexuality of several animals to lean homosexual as opposed to heterosexual. It's a very strange phenomenon we've witnessed several times, but we've witnessed it a lot of times nonetheless. It turns out that um, animals can do the gay. Oh boy, damn it, we've gayed up science. How did we do that? How did we do that? Hakama ran on a platform of supporting the three R's and against undermining traditional values and beliefs. Promoting gender confusion, which I don't even know what that is. Is that like when somebody is non-binary and doesn't know if they lean one way or another? I feel like gender confusion gets solved a lot by just pointing out, hey, you made it up. Is it encouraging peer-to-peer -peer sex education? Violating uh, or undermining parental rights? Uh, supporting critical race theory or social emotional learning. He's against social emotional learning. Why is he against that? That one's weird. Why does that one matter? Let's see here. It's an integral part of education and human development. It's the process. Let's see here. Let, let's let's look for SEL real quick. Why not? Social emotional learning is an integral part of education and human rights development. It's the process through which all young people and young adults acquire and apply knowledge, skills, and attitudes to develop healthy identities, manage emotions, and achieve personal and collective goals, feel and show empathy for others, establish and maintain supportive relationships, and make responsible and caring decisions. That sounds like the bare minimum to not be an asshole. We don't, we don't want people to, to learn that at all and he doesn't he, he doesn't want to promote woke ideology I, I feel like woke it just means anything you want it to mean it can mean black people in your movie if you really need it to I, I don't think woke means anything at this point it's just a boogeyman that people bring up all the time for no reason other than they need to be scared of something he then says I've got five children that went through school and we did well with that Hakama said uh, uh, of teaching the basics. We never had any issues to worry about when it came down to CRT or woke or SEL or transgender or none of that stuff. They didn't teach this. We helped them with their assignments and it was a different world then. Okay, cool. But does that mean it's a better world? I've, I've never liked this line of reasoning. I didn't need that when I was a child. Okay, cool. But maybe kids need that now. Maybe kids have always needed that. And your lack of having, you know any of that stuff has led you to be a more bigoted and more narrow-minded person. 
Akuma then said that he isn't going to monkey around with school board members. He said if they want to support these things, I feel like they should be removed from office. That's my strong opinion. Ah, yes. If they want to support, you know, being gay, they should just be removed from office. Hakuma said he's got no quarrel with LGBTQ kids as long as they stay within their bounds. What the fuck does that even mean? What does stay in your lane, gay boy? What does that mean? And says, a little boy might be like, I feel more like a little girl. And if you got a teacher that encourages that, that's the impression they're probably going to go to. If they just left them alone because it's a normal thing to have that happen to children at different ages, they'll grow out of it. Um, no, that's not how that works. I know that it says that in the article, but I'm going to say it myself. That's not how being transgender works. Transgender ideologies, by and large, they, they maintain into adulthood. There are instances uh, where people do not maintain those ideologies, and even instances where people have to detransition, uh, but those instances are few and far between. If transgender people are a fraction of a percent of the community at large, detransitioners are a fraction of a percent of transitioning people. Uh, Holiday JJ says, I love how the ones against woke talk about how they love the old days, yet they're also the ones that raised many of us into what they are, into what we are. Yeah, it's, it's weird. It's weird, that. Is he saying he has or has had gender dysphoria? I don't, I don't know. His goal, Hakama says, is of course to, uh, save the children. Says, I don't want them being indoctrinated by someone's opinion who's 100% different than mine. What my wife and I teach our children, I don't want them to erode that with their ideology. They can make it sound so sweet and so pleasant and so wonderful. And kids are impressionable. Okay. So, I have a question. What made you the arbiter of what's true and what's not? What makes you the arbiter of what's best for your kids? What makes you more qualified than any of the people who literally work with kids all the time as a job. When minority starts ruling the majority like these whole issues, you got 1% of the population dictating what the rest of us, what we can and can't do, and that's ridiculous. Ah, yes. When the minority controls the majority. My guy, they already do that. It's called capitalism. 1% of the world's population control more than 50% of the world's wealth. That world that you're trying to avoid, it already exists, but it's called something very different, and that's a reality you don't want to face. Frankly, minorities should have stronger voices when it comes to legislation. The reason being is that they naturally will have weaker voices by sheer amount of volume. If the only people that are allowed to dictate what happens in society are the majority voice, specifically the majority voices and like people who are white, then you will naturally end up with laws that favor people who are white. You have to elevate minority voices some way in order to equalize the playing field. And here's the thing, those scales, those balances, they are ever shifting, ever changing things. They will change all of the time. So we can't have minority rule over the majority, but we can have oh, we can't have tyranny by majority either. Yeah, it's it's a weird self-defeating worldview. Isn't it great that we have people like this in public education now? Isn't it great? Isn't it wonderful? Don't you love this world that we've constructed for ourselves? Stuff so says I figured out food. I found a place that does calzones, $20. I don't like impulsive spending on food, but whatever, I need something I can stomach right now. <sighs> All right, guys. I want to know your comments down below because this is a it's a bunch of dog pookie to me. I don't think that stuff like this is okay. I don't know what telling the gay people to stay within their lane even means. It feels like a really weird way of saying don't ask, don't tell. But that's where your opinions come in. You guys might think differently than I do. That's completely okay. Let me know in the comment section below. And uh, as always, everybody, insert in the video tagline here.